Millions of people throughout the world, men, women, young, and old, enjoy playing video games. And for most, gaming is a fun and enjoyable activity. However, in some cases, gaming can become an addiction which can bring about serious repercussions. So today, we will be counting down six times gaming led to death. But first, I would like to note the case of 12-year-old Gabriel Kuhn, who was killed over in-game currency on the online computer game Tibia. This story was excluded due to the graphic nature of the images. However, if you would like, feel free to do a quick search to learn more. Now, let's get started. Number 6. 18-year-old Chuang from Taiwan enjoyed the game Diablo 3 so much that on July 13, 2012, he booked a private room at an internet cafe to begin what would turn into a 40-hour long gaming session. On July 15th, an attendant at the cafe entered the room to find Chuang slumped over his desk. Being awakened by the attendant, Chuang stood from his chair and took a few steps, only to collapse onto the floor. Chuang was then rushed to a hospital where he was pronounced dead shortly after arrival. The cause of death was believed to be the formation of a blood clot in his leg due to the prolonged lack of movement, also known as deep vein thrombosis. Number 5. 18-year-old Devin Moore had no criminal history and was an Air Force enlistee due to leave for service at the end of the summer of 2003. Moore was also an avid gamer who spent months playing Grand Theft Auto, the game said to influence him to commit his crime. On June 7, 2003, Moore was cooperating as he was being booked on a charge of stolen vehicle at the Fayette, Alabama police station. Then, according to his own statement, he lunged at Officer Arnold Strickland, taking his 40 caliber automatic weapon, shooting him twice with one shot to the head. Hearing the shots, Officer James Crump came running only to meet Moore in the hallway where he was shot three times with one shot to the head. Moore then continued down the hallway, grabbing a set of keys in the process. As he approached the emergency dispatcher, Moore turned the weapon and fired five rounds into Ace Mueller, hitting him in the head as well. The three men lay dead as Moore exited the building, fleeing in a police cruiser, only to be captured hours later in Mississippi, where he quickly confessed, saying, Life is a video game. Everybody's gotta die sometime. Devin Moore faced trial in 2005 and in August was convicted as charged with a sentence of death by lethal injection handed down on October 9th. Number 4. On April 3, 1982, at around 8.30 p.m., 18-year-old Peter Burkowski walked into Friar Tuck's game room, an arcade in Illinois. Approaching a game called Berserk, Peter began to play. It took him only 15 minutes to log two high scores onto the game's top 10 list. After entering his name for the second time, Peter decided to try another game. Turning from Berserk, Peter took about four steps, inserted his quarter into another game, then collapsed onto the floor. The official cause of death was heart attack. It was discovered during his autopsy that Peter had pre-existing scar tissue on his heart at least two weeks old. The combination of heightened stress levels brought on by the game and his weakened heart were ruled to be the cause of Peter's untimely death. Number 3. 16-year-old Daniel Petrick was homebound due to a staph infection from a snowboarding accident, which left him with little more to do than play video games. Daniel soon found himself playing video games for up to 18 hours per day, games that his mother and minister father did not approve of. One night in September of 2007, Daniel sneaked out of his bedroom window to go purchase Halo 3 without his parents' consent. Upon returning home, Daniel's parents caught him with the game, at which point his father took it and placed it into a lockbox in his closet. About a month later, on October 20th, Daniel took his father's key. Unlocking the box, he took the game along with a 9mm handgun, which his father also kept in the box. Daniel then approached his parents, asking them to close their eyes, stating that he had a surprise for them. With their eyes closed, Daniel raised the 9mm, firing several rounds into his mother, killing her instantly. Turning the gun to his father, he fired a round into his head. 
He then tried placing the gun into his father's hand, saying, Hey, Dad, here's your gun. Take it. After being discovered by his stepsister and brother-in-law, Daniel fled the scene, taking the game with him. Daniel was caught shortly after in the family van with his game in the passenger seat. Miraculously, Daniel's father survived and has forgiven his son for the act. Daniel faced trial on December 15, 2008, and received the minimum sentence of life in prison with the possibility of parole after 23 years. Number 2. Tyrone Spellman was an avid gamer who often spent as much as 7 hours per day playing Xbox. After playing Ghost Recon for about 6 hours one day in September of 2006, Tyrone's 17-month-old daughter, Alea, pulled on one of the console's cords, causing it to fall, breaking it upon hitting the floor. This sent Tyrone into a fit of rage, at which time he struck the girl in the head at least five times with enough force to crack her skull several times, causing her death. Tyrone confessed to the killing the following day and was arrested and convicted of third-degree murder. Police believe the girl's pregnant mother was sleeping in another room at the time of her daughter's death. Though Tyrone expressed remorse during the hearing, he was sentenced to the maximum 22 and a half to 45 years in prison. Amid allegations of abuse and neglect, as well as the discovery of an untreated broken arm during Alea's autopsy, the city took custody of the couple's second daughter, born after Alea's death. Number 1. Zhang Zhaoyi was a 13-year-old boy from China who became addicted to an online game called Warcraft, Orcs and Humans. Though Zhang was considered brilliant in school, once he began playing Warcraft, his grades dropped and he began failing. After two years, Zhang began playing for days at a time at internet cafes, sometimes without food. After one such incident, Zhang allegedly made a tearful confession to his father that he had been poisoned by the games and could no longer control himself. Despite this confession, Zhang continued playing and on December 27, 2004, after playing for 36 consecutive hours, left a note explaining that he wished to join the heroes of the game he loved. Zhang then jumped from the top of the 24-story building in which he and his family lived. After examining his diary about online games and the suicide note, it was determined that Zhang had developed internet addiction disorder before his death. Well, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like by giving it a thumbs up and don't forget to share with your friends. If you would like to see more, be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you have a video suggestion you would like to see, just leave it in the comment section below. If your suggestion is used, your comment will be featured at the beginning of your suggested video. But for now, take care and I will see you all next time.